Hey, today I've got this great little, uh, looks like a late 70s RCA TV. It's, it's pretty cool looking, but uh, some friends brought it in and it's got this issue. They said it has sound with no picture and, of course, turn it on and, I mean, I don't hear, I don't hear any crackle from the high voltage or anything. Uh, everything else, I mean, it sounds like it's tuning okay. But uh, let me pop it open and see what the problem is. Uh, oh, 1975, look at that. This thing looks like it's fresh out of the box. Anyway, let's get this back cover off. Well, I'm starting to get the screws pulled out of this. I mean, look at, uh, look at this power cord interlock. It's, I mean, try to find that power cord. It's, it's also got an internal battery. This is, this seems to be the interlock switch here. And it's got a charger option. Here, I noticed when uh, it was plugged in and I flipped the charger switch to off, it simply turned off. So, uh, there's obviously no power in the battery, but, uh, Let's put these screws out here, and this is pretty slick here. Oop, lay this thing down on its face. Yeah, so the battery pack is on the bottom. Boom. Right there. Genuine, authentic, uh, original uh, RCA batteries. What do we got? Let's see if this thing will focus. Yeah, interesting. Probably no good, but there you go. Let me get these screws out. I think that's all of them, at least to be able to get the back cover off, so... Yes. What do we have here? Ground line, antenna line. Service man's guide. So I'm I mean I'm thinking that this thing turns on but we have no picture and it sounded like the high voltage wasn't even coming up. So first thing I'm gonna check maybe we can check the high voltage with the meter. Uh but if we don't have anything there might be a fuse or some issue with the horizontal output. So, we may need to come back to that diagram. Let's give this another shot here. Look how clean this is. This thing is like never used. Okay, how does this work? Looks like that flips up. Oh, now I can definitely hear the high voltage there. Crackling away. Probably from that exposed Ultor connection.
Oh, look at that. So, what did we do here? Is this... What is going on? Uh, but we have a height issue. Looks like it's bunching on the bottom. Doesn't quite fill out the top. Mm, any connection? Any uh, adjustments here? We've got these two knobs here. I thought those were the hold controls though. Yeah, vertical hold, horizontal hold. Try to. I mean, we could have an issue with bad capacitors in this thing affecting the vertical output, but I think I want to try to locate the height adjustment before that. I have to put the camera down to try and find it. Okay, I think I found it here. Uh, according to this thing, it has all these circuit cards kind of plugged into it, which is an interesting design. Uh, but on here, it says that we have... Let's get some focus happening. There we go. Um, number four is the audio. Let's see. what. Oh, number three vertical, which is this board here, and there's a little knob right there, so let's see if uh, that adjustment makes any difference at all. And find a suitable screwdriver laying around here. One of those cheap Chinese ones where the handle turns and the screwdriver does not this one might be too big, so let's let's try it anyway. There it is. I had to turn that an awful long way to make it fill out the screen, so I'm pretty sure that we've got some caps that are drawing out in this, but I mean, for now it'll It'll be okay. We'll just let it run. And uh, well, just for kicks, measure the high voltage on this thing. Uh, ooh, get too close to that flyback. <laughs> All right. So. Wow, 12,000 volts on that, almost, uh, 11,000, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20, yeah, that's about 12,000 then, on that tiny tube, 9VAGP4. So I'll have to put the back cover on and see if the... Thing will stay operating. Yeah, got it all back together and you know we got a full nice full screen now so next step is to plug the um, signal generator in and see if we can get a picture and make sure everything's in proper alignment. So I'm going to use the B and K 1077B. Uh, right now it's in standby so flip it on and yeah, we'll plug in the cable here there's our audio tone Ooh, uh. mm. right there uh, channel th what channel 4 
Oh yeah, nice and crusty. Maybe I should have cleaned that tuner while we were in there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, frequency is way off. Let's try... It's vertical. Oh, horizontal's way off. So we can crank it around. Oh, almost. Uh. Yeah. See, oh, we're on channel 13. And, oddly enough, channel 11. Okay. with the linearity of that. The circle's kind of egg-shaped, but... We've got good audio. Good brightness. Good contrast. And I believe... It, well, that's crooked because the... This thing has a little camera inside of it, and you... The way it works is you drop a clear slide down in front of the camera and it basically the camera looks at the slide and it displays it on the picture so uh, that's just crooked because the slide's crooked um, but I think this is going to get a pass for now and I do believe that the original issue with this was in this power cord switch because you have a uh, let me turn this off get rid of that tone uh, you have a switch here to switch in between. I, I don't know if you can make that out, but up here it says 120 volts, 60 hertz, which is line current, internal battery, and external 12 volt battery. And I think the issue was that this switch in here was dirty and it just wasn't livening up the horizontal circuit to start up the high voltage. So, yeah. I mean, overall, it's in pretty good shape. This was an easy one.